Alright guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys on the application Baseball Superstars. Let's go ahead and check out this application in the App Store. You guys might find this review a little bit uh, quicker or maybe a little bit shorter than the rest because I'm going to try and shorten my videos down from, from around like 10 minutes, maybe uh, half that to maybe around 5 or 6 minutes. So. Here we go. You look at it in the App Store, it is right now on sale for a price of $2.99. If you want, there's a light version that you go ahead and pick up for free, which will also lack some of the capabilities of the paid version, um, if you're interested in that. The $2.99 is only a limited time offer, so get it while you can. Um, it's regularly priced $4.99. It says, so get it to, alright. Yeah, so make make sure you guys pick this up for around $3. The usual price is around $4, uh, $5 if you are interested. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys ever played the game Backyard Baseball, this is what uh, that game, um, this, this is, uh, that is what this game mostly reminds me of. So it comes up with this quick little start screen, and it brings you up this little control pad, kind of like if you guys have a jailbroken iPod, it kind of looks like the GBA emulator, um, or something like that, you guys see the little control pad down here. So you use this control pad to go ahead and scroll through the menu, use it to bat, use it to pitch, so it's a multitask uh, little uh, kind of like game controller. So you have start game, help, options, hidden players, and about. Let's go on into options. What well, options allows you to ch is it allows you to change the difficulty from easy, medium, or hard. You guys can see if it'll focus right there. Easy, normal, or hard. You can change. You can have the sound on. Th there's uh, actually four different types of sound. You can have vibration on or off if you have an iPhone. The speed of the game, and if you want, you can reset all your data. It's gonna go back just by pressing that little um, X right there. Hidden players is a little cool function they threw in here that you can unlock more players and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. So it gets you playing the game more. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. If you go into help, it'll show you everything how to play. Um, I'll just go through this really shortly for you guys. This is, I just see very simple controls right here. Very, very simple controls. All right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just go into start game. If you go into start game, you can resume your most recent game. You can go into normal mode. You can create a league, which you get your own player. You can go into season mode, which obviously you will play a full season with your certain team. You can go into home run mode, which will allow you to obviously it's kind of like a home run derby. And you can also go into mission mode, where you have to do certain things. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the normal mode. Let's go into new game. Here you can choose from uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different teams. Um, there are a lot of them are like fantasy teams, kind of like, uh, not like fantasy baseball and stuff like that, but like uh, literally fantasy. You guys see there's a uh, flying, uh, what does it say, Phoenix. Next you have Dolphins, Hawks, Wolves, Lions, Tigers, oh my. Uh, <laughs> then you have Gamevilles, which are um, the humans. And you have Swallows, which is a bird, and Unicorns. Believe it or not, Unicorns have the one of the best batting, so that's pretty weird. But, so you can choose from either Fantasy or Human. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to choose, let's go ahead, let's grab, let's go, let's go ahead and grab the Wolves, because they look like they're really good at pitching. So to choose them, just go ahead and click that main button right there, the big uh, glowing circle. Now you can choose the Computers team, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Humans. Here you can choose uh, which one you want to be. Also, if you go ahead, I'm going to choose that on the Wolves. You can choose from a dirt field, a grass field, an artificial field, or a dome field. I like the dome field. Here you can also change um, your super batter you have right there and your super pitcher, which are your best players on the team. So you want to make sure uh, you keep an eye out for when they come up or when one pitches. So I'm just going to go through there. Um, then you do the same thing for the computer. And go through. Then it'll bring you to the lineup. You can go ahead and alter it if you want. I'm just going to keep it the same. Then you get into the computer's lineup. Keep it the same. It'll bring you right into the game. You guys saw that load time very fast. Give you a quick little screen out here with the time as well, which is pretty neat. Alright. Then you have... Uh, that's not. That's just the time of how long you've been uh, in this, actually. But um, then you have who's due up and the scoreboard right down there. So let's go ahead and give it a click. So once you go ahead and get into this application you have there, you can see it's very nice uh, laid out graphics. Um, definitely reminds me of Backyard Baseball with all the looks. Up here you have your uh, scoreboard. Down here you have your player stats. And to start the game, also if you guys want, you can take the time on or off and stuff like that. And you can also go back to the menu. So to start it, go ahead and just type your guy. You can move your guy left to right. 
There you go. Oh, got him out. Um, you can move your guy left to right with the pad, and then you have... It pitches are really fast, so that's what I'm trying to say right now for you guys. Um, then you have these buttons right down here, which you can choose. Press the square. You can use that to bunt, or this big one, <coughs> excuse me, just to hit it. And then if you do have the star lit up, that's for a power hitter. As you guys see right there, I just got a foul ball. You can go ahead and move your player. Oh, strike. There we go. That looks like a good hit. Nice. That might be a double. Oh, I'm going for three. I'm going. Oh, I got out. I tried to go for three. Very simple to go to the next base. Just obviously choose it. Now let's take a look from the pitcher standpoint. Choose your pitch. It'll give you up, down, left, or right. All the directions. There you go. Just got a strike on him. You can see up here. Let's see if this will focus. There you go. You got fastball. Um, not really sure what the other one says. We have curve, a slurve, and a changeup. I'm going to and throw the slurve, which is the right. Then here you can choose where you want the pitch to go. And then you go ahead and throw it. They'll hit it, or they maybe won't. As you can see there. Oh. Very simple. Throw to the bases. Um, to the right is first. Up is second. Third is... Uh, to the right, to the left is third, and uh, down is home. So, guys, this game is actually a very fun game. I've actually um, started starting to play a little bit more now that I've actually started playing now, and that it is starting to get. Oh, they just stole. Now it's starting to get into baseball season. So now it's kind of uh, this application is getting a little bit more fun to play. So, if you guys want to go ahead and pick this up while it's on sale for the price that it is of around three dollars, definitely make sure you go ahead and do that if you're interested in anything baseball. This application is very fun. Definitely will keep you busy with all its different modes. Thank you for watching, guys. Thanks for hooking up with the promo code Baseball Superstars. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Favorite, comment, subscribe. Peace.